we're going to Longwood Gardens, which is a famous gardens in Pennsylvania. Gardens is looking gorgeous. This is the pipe organ 
ballroom. There she is. And behind the scenes, behind this wall, are all the pipes. I'd love to see that. just behind that wall. And all those pink panels are just fabric. So the sound can come out. And it's all right next to the conservatory. They have one special greenhouse that's filled with tree ferns and it's all wet on the floor.
Imagine Versailles being built today. People just don't build stuff like this anymore. Oh, this is construction. You gotta love construction. The fountains have been working nonstop since 1931. But after we disassemble the entire garden, and then we're gonna install all new infrastructure, we are not just going to make it look pretty again. This is a masterwork by Pierre Dupont, who was quite a thoughtful character. He had a vision. He arranged this. He thought about it. He proportioned it. He did tests with water. He didn't just engineer it. He skillfully laid out a composition that is masterful in its effectiveness. We're looking after Pierre Dupont's real personal vision down to the last detail. We're unfolding his story again. I compare it to almost like a ballet. It's so beautiful and it just flows. What people don't see is the hours and hours of daunting practice, tears and blood that have been shed. Anything that you see in this project, hundreds and thousands of decisions and discussions have been made behind every detail. Everything that we had hoped and dreamed, it is really happening. Wow. I was just blown away by the whole thing. It was absolutely spectacular. Loved it. It was vibrant, beautiful. Excellent. There was a visceral happiness. <laughs> I didn't expect to see fire on the water. It was really poetic at times and then very powerful. I've been coming here since I was a little, little kid, and it's a brand new memory. It's like nothing you have ever, ever seen before in your life.